Now let's code our breadth first search method. So I'm going to bring up our tree like this, and I'm going to put this down in the corner there, and we'll start writing our method. So we'll say breadth first search, and we will need a variable for whatever the current node is that we're popping off of that array that we talked about in the last video. We are going to set that equal to the root to begin with. And we're going to need our Q array like that and our results array like that. So one of the things we have to do before we even get into that loop where we're looping through and putting things in the queue is we need to push the current node, which is the root into the queue. And remember, we're pushing the entire node with the value and left and right into that queue. I'm just going to represent it like this as a blue number so we can remember that that's actually the entire node. Now we'll start our while loop and we'll say while queue.length. In other words, while the queue has length, or you could say while the queue has a length that is greater than zero, because once this is zero, that'll equate to false. And I'm just going to focus in on this while loop like this as we build it out. We'll say current node equals q dot shift. So when we shift this out of the queue like this, I'm going to make this green to match the 47 in the diagram there. That makes that the current node. And we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to take the value from that current node and we're going to push it into the results array. And then we're going to go left and we're going to go right. But we have to say, if there is something to the left, then we will push that node that is on the left, current node dot left, into the queue. And then we'll say, if there is something on the right, we'll do the same thing there where we say, push the current node that is on the right, which in this case is the 76. And that's everything for our while loop. So let's run through this while loop a few more times here. So let's look at these two steps here. We will shift off the 21, and then we're going to take that value and move it into there. From this point forward, I'll just take these two lines and combine these into one step and just move that value from Q straight down to results. Then we'll say if there is something on the left, and there is something to the left of the 21, that's the 18, we push that into the Q. If there's something to the right, and there is, we'll push that into the queue. And the next one we remove from the queue is going to be the 76. I'm just going to put that value straight into results. That is those first two lines there in the while loop. Is there something to the left of the 76? There is. That's the 52. And to the right, we have the 82. And then it gets really quick from here because when we do the 18 and remove that from the queue, push that onto the results array, there is nothing on the left, there is nothing on the right. So then we do the same thing for the 27, same thing there, nothing on the left or the right, and then the 52, and then the 82. So now that queue is empty, and we stop running the while loop, because it only runs as long as the queue has length. So we'll remove that, and the only step that's left is to return that results array. So let's bring the rest of our code back here. This is the entire breadth first search method. And we'll look at this code in a second in DevTools. And when we do, we will build this binary search tree and we will expect to see this array returned. So let's flip over to DevTools. So this breadth first search method is going to be part of the binary search tree class. So let's scroll down to the breadth first search method. So there is that code there. This is the tree that we will build. I'm going to scroll up a little bit further here. So this array here that I have commented out is the order that we will expect to see from the breadth first search. I just want to point out here that the order of this array and the order here is exactly the same. So I'm going to zoom out here and run this. 
and zoom in down here. And our binary search tree has 47 at the root. It has 21 and 76 at the next level, and I won't open it up further than here. So I'm going to clear this. So I'm going to run mytree.bfs and press enter. And that is our array, which exactly matches this array. So that is our method for breadth first search.